Hey everybody, this is Ben Hansen with Game Informer, and I'm here with Miles Leslie, a producer at Treyarch. Hey, how's it going? Hey, really good, man. What are we looking at? Uh, today we're going to look at Arsenal. Uh, it's a new map that was shown at Gamescom. Uh, overall, it's, it's a pretty exciting map for us. Uh, it's got a lot of unique gameplay features and kind of visuals to the overall portfolio. Um, at a high level, what the idea is, the map is it's really the guys that kind of designed the score streaks. So behind the curtain, who are the, who are the designers that have been tweaking and adjusting the score streaks? So it happens to be Dizler Robotics and Dynamics, basically. <laughs> These are the guys that sort of make the weapons, uh, and they've got a history doing it. So this is actually the uh, Napalm Strike from... Uh, way back in the day, B01, right? So these guys made the original one. It's kind of a statue to their heritage overall. And there's little things sprinkled around like that where, you know, here's the, the AGR from B02, the original RCXD. So this is like the sort of museum and kind of the guys that are working on the, the score streaks over the years across the Black Ops universe. It's a really fun idea. I like the idea of not just like Blackout diving into Black, like Black Ops <laughs> lore, but like even the multiplayer maps Absolutely. Themselves. Is this the first time you guys ever hinted at this corporation existing? It is, existing? yeah, it absolutely is. It came with the idea of, you know, how do, how do we expand, like you said, the narrative sort of yeah. MP and dive into that element where you're really thinking about the maps more than just playing them, but on top of that, the map's got some really unique gameplay stuff. Uh, We've got vents. We've never had this before. Interesting. So there's these tight little corridors that you can really get some really CQB, SMG, shotgun. Uh, if you choose, get in there, and you're going to have to bang once you get in. And it all sort of culminates up here. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's your fall through the <laughs> Fly, you Flying around. I'm in demo. You're flying through. This yeah. isn't actual gameplay. This is not gameplay. Fly by camera here. But it's cool because it leads to this sort of hallway where you've got this standoff, and you're going to have to win this. And usually there's someone at the other end of the vents, and you're kind of doing this poking, and if you successfully kill them, you get a nice vantage point over the center where you can clear out the corners, kind of sweep to the other side, clear those corners. But sort of the risk versus reward is you can actually bang and shoot all the way through this vent. So if I know there's a guy right, you know, at the edge of it, yeah. I can just start shooting that entire thing and you're gonna have to bang, you know, back up basically. Okay. This is what we call our diehard moment. So <laughs> like this is one of those things where it's like you're kind of in there like diehard getting shot up and you either got to commit to it or you got to get out. So it's That's pretty awesome. exciting. Um, and that connects on both sides. So this is interesting because the only connection from this lane overall is going through the vents. So you got to make a tough choice. I can either go around the long way uh, or I can go through the vents, and it's pretty interesting. What was the earliest phase of this map's design? Like, what was the what was the bullet point written down that eventually grew into this thing? <laughs> uh, we wanted uh, really sort of King of the Hill. So this map's super interesting because it's a twist on King of the Hills. We want you to actually hold down the middle. Uh, it's like a fortress, basically. So we added these dynamic doors uh, that you can walk through and they'll open. I'm gonna basically go down. They'll open automatically as a player gets near them. Uh, and what we want is you to fortify the center area. So with all the specialist equipment, razor wire, barricades, we want you to make this your castle. We want you to lock it down as much as possible. But then we give sort of the attacking guys the ways in. So there's a window overwatch from this lane, and then there's the sneak defense, which again is really high risk because you can come in. Yeah. But it's cool because they've got these large pillars, and you can cat and mouse. And what's really interesting is this middle helicopter goes up and down throughout gameplay, so you can actually see the other side. That's fine. But it's bulletproof, so it's like you get in a lot of these situations where you see the enemy, and you're like, all right, what am I going to do here? What are you going to do? It's hey. end of Phantom Menace yeah, when it's, the walls come it's, in, they're staring it's exactly. at Exactly. What are you going to do? you yeah. got to make a choice. Okay. So you get a lot of cat and mouse in here and holding it down, and we've actually had matches where a team has sat in the middle and people are trying to attack them and get them out, and it's swapping back and forth, which is a big change from other maps where you're just you're trying to hold down my side versus your side and kind of attacking in the middle. Right. It's kind right. of hold the middle and then fight out in that sense, which is pretty cool overall. Okay, gotcha. So you're a producer, but what's your actual involvement in this? Are you drawing sketches of this map? Are you just managing <laughs> production of the map designs? A overall? little bit of everything, uh, but I try to help uh, work with the team on sort of all facets of the maps. Uh, I've been with Treyarch since World at War working on MP maps, so I've made a lot of maps, and uh, each one of them kind of needs to be super unique. And heading into BO4, we really wanted to lean into that. Um, we try to make it, we're using a term, it's, it's, it's really, we need to push ourselves to be a little uncomfortable. BO3, over the years, we've, we've got really good rules on how to make maps. We know how to make good maps. But how do we push it beyond, basically? How do we, how do we push ourselves to challenge ourselves to be like, ah, we wouldn't do that. Okay, well, let's try it. And that's where you get vents, right? You get crazy okay. vents, you get I can see the enemy, you get automatic doors, you get different cut-throughs and ways in where you're holding down the middle. It's very different and unique and feels very different when you're playing it. So overall, all the maps in Black Ops 4 are a little bit 
bolder, more strange, or like what's the? What's the <laughs> They're word? definitely more bolder and very. I think we've challenged ourselves even more than past games because we're looking at the community and what they're talking about, and a lot of comes up. It's three lanes. You know, three lanes is the basis and a foundation of our maps. But how do you add different spice to that? And we really looked at our history of World War, Bo1, Bo2, and how open some of those maps were, and try to offer different ways for players to sort of experience this map and. This map, while yes, there's three lanes, there's a lot of ways to cut across the lane, right? I can, I can merge from lanes and kind of make decisions as I'm going. I'm not really forced on one lane uh, overall. I can just cut back in. Do I want to go into the middle? Yes, okay, do I want to cut back? Do I want to go this way? Uh, there's a lot going on that offers that sort of tactical experience that we're going for baked yeah. into the map, so you're making sort of the choices you want to make. Yeah, Got sure. some Overwatch for some That's long range up to ready. these big mortar guns. Uh, these guns will actually fire during the match a couple times, uh, which is which is cool because they're super loud. So if you're near them, there's kind of a gameplay thing as you might be able to sneak up on someone. Oh, interesting. Uh, which is pretty cool. And they're just firing off in the desert. This is just testing facility. Yeah, testing facility. So they've got like a bunch of long range stuff down there where they're sort of monitoring these overall. Like okay. uh, you know, hey, the the mortars from old uh, score streaks and past, right? These are the guns that basically they're testing them. Okay. And then back here, we've got sort of the tank robot testing area and this is really cool because we've seen like all those boston dynamic videos of them yeah. like being really mean to robots just kicking the shit right out just of them, kicking yeah. them and you feel bad <laughs> for the robot but you don't know why right and that's how skynet starts Naturally. but this was kind of the inspiration behind this was what happens if we built these areas where they're kind of testing them and this is like making the tank robot all terrain uh and then over here you basically it's shooting different types of ammunition right so it's got explosives fire, electrocution, can it take all this damage basically before it goes out to the field. Right. Um, so it was really cool for us to lean into that and then just kind of run with the idea of, you know, these are the guys, like this would be a magazine, they're sort of hyping themselves up, <laughs> right? You know, the new wave of military hardware, because uh, this is a huge industry in the real world, right? You've got like Boeing and a lot of people that are making tons of money is this is a real place. This is relatable in that sense, but also gives our own spin because it's yeah. Star Streaks. Is there a lore team dedicated to just adding this type of stuff with the maps or is it just the designers naturally it bubbles up? It's baked in, you know, okay. it's always like, hey, how do, how do we do this and kind of relate it to ourselves or hey, this would be really cool. You know, it's like little fun stuff like this. They've been awarded the 50th annual DG Royal Awards for outstanding innovation in military equipment. Yeah. A lot of this stuff comes from the team when they're thinking about, hey, it'd be really cool to do this. Yeah. Um, so is it is. A little representation of the map. A little representation well? of the map. So Perfect. if you came in, and this is a large facility uh, overall, right? So they've, this is just kind of like where they design them and then manufacturing would be somewhere else. Okay. So it's a huge campus basically on this side of this dam, uh, which is pretty interesting. And it's not the dam from Blackout? It is not the dam from Blackout. Okay. Different dam, not the hydro gotcha. dam. Can you zoom out? Can you just see like an overview of the map? At yeah. All? That's fun. Even just seeing these dev tools is super fun. Yeah, I hope it's you super cool. That. Yeah, it's 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 fun for us. This is how we kind of review it. By the way, is like we'll do a play test, just kind of segue into that. We'll play test, and people will come and it's like, hey man, I didn't you know this, I didn't like this line of sight or whatever it ends up being, and mm -hmm. you can really get that feedback and interpret it in the way that try to fix it, and then go back to the workshop and kind of do another iteration. Basically, yeah, iteration sure. is the key to success uh, for us. Is we're not scared of. It's not personal, you know what uh -huh. I mean? So it's just like, hey, I wasn't having fun here. This wasn't working for me. Okay, let's try to distill that down. Try to isolate what really was bugging you. Because a lot of time, feedback's really hard to give, and people are like, I didn't like this. And I was like, well, why didn't you like it? Right. Right. Well, I got shot in the back. Okay, well, where were you? Well, I was on the other side. Well, so you were on the enemy side. Okay, so you should have been aware. Right? You know what I mean? There's a lot of questions to dig down and get right. into those layers. And that's what the team does is kind of just sort of dig, 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 and try yeah. to solve those problems. For sure. Do you have a favorite map for Black Ops 4 so far? Oh, that's tough. That's like asking me what my favorite child is I overall. That, but which is your favorite child? <laughs> it's really hard because I like a lot of elements of them because I think I feel like we've added a lot of spice overall. Like I really love getting in the vents in here. Like people don't want to play with me because I will hold down the vents, right? Uh, it's not camping because I am moving. I want to be clear, uh -huh. uh, but I'm holding it down. I'm locking it down. So there's little things across all the map. I love Hacienda with the stacked gameplay, right. jumping in and out of the top, right? Seaside trying to control the monastery area, like. Every map's got a little spice where it's like, that's the thing I love. That's the thing I love. So when you guys make a second blackout map, you can take all those little ingredients. <laughs> there you go. And there. Exactly, yeah. 100%. These are all the ingredients for future blackout, right? <laughs> it's funny because people, like, even though they're not thinking about it, they, they joke around like that around the studio, like, hey, this would be cool for blackout. And we're like, calm down. Okay, first off. Everything's yeah, cool right, for blackout. First off, obviously. we haven't shipped it yet. Let's get this out the door. Make sure the community loves it, and right. then we can start talking about what else to do. Yeah. Uh, but this this map's really fun. Uh, we have a lot of really close battles on this match. I think players are gonna 
really like it overall. It adds to the portfolio. Um, you start talking about maps across all of them. This is this is very unique, I think. For sure. Well, hey, Miles, thanks for showing it off, man. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. It. Thank you.